in this section i will be telling you about the efficient market hypothesis which is abbreviated as emh it is basically an application of rational expectations and that it helps us in explaining how the prices of the stocks and other securities are determined this particular theory was developed on the basis of uh, the phd dissertation of eugene pharma that was in, that was submitted in 1960s so basically it tells us about the determination of the prices of the stocks and other securities and it also it is basically assumed on the basic principle that whatever information is available pertaining to any stock or any security that is equally available for all the different types of individuals that who are participating in a market in a financial market so the level of information is the same among all the participants of the financial market and that information is basically reflected in terms of the prices of the stocks or the securities so in other words if we want to determine the value of the return according to efficient market hypothesis it is it can be given by the formula which you can see which you can see right now it is basically the difference between the future price of that particular security minus the current price of the security and then we add the uh, cash payments that are expected or that we are going to get from that particular security uh, in the form of dividends or any other payments so here the capital r is the rate of return on the time of security which is being held at from the time period t to t plus 1 so p t plus 1 is the price of the security at time t plus 1 and pt is obviously the time period uh, the price of the security at a prior time period the reference time period from where we are trying to uh, the the time period which we are considering as the base period and then c stands for the cash payment and it can be dividends or any other cash payment that a, a person or an investor can get from time period t to t plus 1 so similarly using the same formula we can find out the expected returns that means what what return i am expecting in future and for that purpose i will be taking it into account in order to calculate the expected return i will be taking into account the expected future price of that security so uh, you can see that there is a little superscript of e at the top of pt plus 1 so pt plus 1 is the future price and when we put e at the top of it it means that we are now talking about the future expected price so in order to calculate the expected return we take into account the future expected price and then uh, we subtract uh, the current price or the prior time period's price and then obviously the cash payment will be added to it and the whole thing will be divided by pt so this is how we get the return um the expected return so efficient market hypothesis says that when we when we are talking about the equilibrium it is essential that the optimal forecasted return that means that you have considered all the relevant information about a certain stock or security and on the basis of how it is going to perform in future you are going to find out the expected price in the future the whatever possible cash payments are there and then we calculate the expected return the expected return should be equivalent to the if we have we are having a certain value of the current return value then we then the equilibrium uh, situation can be obtained at a point where the optimal forecasted return return becomes equal to whatever return is there in the market so this is how we uh, can establish the equilibrium level where um, simply we can put up that the equilibrium rate is that rate where the optimal forecasted value becomes equivalent to the current returns value so basically it all it depends that the since people are very much clear about the level of information or the type of fluctuations or movements that are going to occur in the market pertaining to a certain stock they consider all that information they utilize that information and then they accordingly decide for 
a certain optimal forecasted value of the return and that helps them in determining the equilibrium level of returns in the of a certain from uh, that can be yield that can be earned from a certain stock or a security